Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I feel like it has been a very long time since I've picked up the camera and filmed and that is because it has been. <laughs> um, I just honestly haven't felt like filming but today I thought I would film a little day in my life video because I have some planty orders to pack and I have a few things going on today so it is... 10 past 10, I have already been into town, I had a doctor's appointment for Brody, but obviously I'm not going to film that part of my day, but I have a lot of planty orders to pack and then I'll take them down to the depot. I've been doing a lot of work on my website recently as well, um, but I'll talk more of that while I'm packing. Of course you've got to have packing snacks. So as I was saying, I've been doing a lot of work on my website recently. I've had a lot of help from my one of my plant friends, Anna. She is like an absolute legend. She's been going above and beyond to help me try and figure out this website stuff because it is still, like I've been doing it for a year and a half and it is still so confusing to me and like, I'm just not a technical person at all computers and all that computer stuff is just like I find it very confusing so she's been very helpful um, and I've been doing a lot of product photography so retaking my photos all that stuff I just want the website to look I don't know I have a vision in my head of what I want it to look like so I'm just slowly chipping away at it doing little bits at a time just so it's not so overwhelming and I've actually learnt a lot this last couple of weeks with Anna helping me. It's been really really cool. So yeah, just doing all that sort of not so exciting behind the scenes stuff like um, SEO settings and as I said like product photography, description updates, all that sort of thing. So yeah, I'm finally getting to a place that I am happy with. And I have a lot of like projects I want to do as well. So I've got a lot of um, like content I want to create. I have a few more products that I want to get in for the website. I have some plants coming in this week, which is exciting. So some more, another plant delivery. So let me show you these. So this is a, this is a little philodendron splendid. And this is a little philodendron brantianum. So these are both going in the post today. Along with this big beauty. This is a philodendron taxolanum. taxolanum and it has beautiful... Is it going to focus? Beautiful red foliage underneath. I absolutely love these plants. This is going to be a fun one to package because it is so big. But... Hopefully we can, hopefully we can manage to pack it up. I'm just going to pop some tissue paper on top of the soil to keep the soil in the pot. And then I put some tape over the top just to hold everything in place so the plant doesn't move when it's in the post and the soil doesn't come out of the pot. Let me know down below if you guys want to see a full in-depth um, video of how I package up my plants for the post. Because I am more than happy to do that. Now, usually for these smaller plants, I'll use masking tape because it's a lot easier to take off and it won't damage the plant. But for big plants like this, I just use normal tape because there is a lot of hot surface to cover and it just has a better hold. Hey, bub. Yeah. Sorry if it sounds like I'm yelling. I am talking quite loud because the camera quite far away from me and I want you guys to be able to hear me because I don't have a microphone. Actually I should mention that these big beautiful plants are actually grown by one of my plant besties. This is from Tony who runs Grow and Steady. Purchased a few plants off her to sell on my website as well. Because this plant is so big, and I don't normally like to do this, but I'm going to basically tie the plant to the box. So there is no chance of it moving around because it is such a big boy. 
Okay, so I don't know where my camera um, died, but I've tied this big plant to the box so there's no chance of it flopping around in the post. Now as for these little bubbies, I will package them how I normally do. So I normally wrap them up in this corrugated card. And that basically just protects all the foliage from getting damaged in the post. But as I said, if you want to see a full in-depth video on how I package up my plants for the post, leave me a comment in the comment box below and I will be sure to film it because I know when I first started posting plants, like I had no idea what I was doing or how to package them securely. So again, I don't normally like taping plants to the box, but because I can't stuff the box full of packaging, I am going to tape these to the side of the box so they don't move around. This is another beauty that I am about to package up and ship off. I need to clear some space in my grow tent because honestly these plants are growing way too big so I popped this guy on my website yesterday and it literally sold within a few seconds um, because it is absolutely gorgeous and it is massive too so this is going to be shipped in this big box so yeah I'm going to package that up and I will show you what it looks like when it's all safe and snug in the box I just realized I never showed you it packaged up but as you can hear, nothing is moving around so it is nice and secure. Again, I tied the pot to the box and then I actually used bubble wrap. Now I don't normally like to use bubble wrap because obviously it is plastic, but for really delicate and fragile plants I will use bubble wrap. So obviously I want my plants to turn up in the most pristine condition they can. So if it calls to use some bubble wrap, then I will use some bubble wrap. And hopefully people on the other end that receive their package will reuse that bubble wrap and not just throw it away. So, another one done. Quite a few more to do. <laughs> Next plant I am packaging up is this Syngonium Freckles. Syngonium Freckles. So I'm going to package this one up now. That is the Syngonium all packed up. Again, as you can hear, it is not going to move anywhere. Therefore, it is going to arrive in the best possible condition. I just make and print these little labels out that I put on the box as well as the fragile stickers. So these are the last two these are the last two plants I've got to pack. One is a Cebu Blue Pothos and the other one is a Philodendron Silver Sword and as you can see they've both got quite similar coloured foliage which is really cute. So I'm going to package these two up now. Okay, another order packed, ready to go. This one has two plants in it, so that is all the plants packed. Now I just have some non-perishables to pack, and I've also got to make up a few bags of soil and pack those up. I am, I do have a big wholesale order for 10 bags of my premium potting mix, but I am waiting for the bags to be delivered. They said they were going to be delivered today, so hopefully they turn up and then I can package that wholesale order up and get that sent off. But for now, I'm just going to focus on getting all my customer orders ready so I can take them down to the depot, hopefully before lunchtime. It's now 11 o'clock, so I should be able to get it done by 11.30. All my orders are packed now, so what I'm going to do is I am going to print out all the shipping labels that I need to print out. I have a few pickups as well, but... I don't really need to do anything with those, so we'll just book all the couriers. I have now. That's good, babe. That's all I ever want is for you to be happy. I know. Okay, so shipping labels are all done. I actually have to do two different courier drop-offs, one for New Zealand Post and one for Post Haste. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and load up the orders into the car, go and dro drop them off at the depot, and then 
don't think I have to do anything else in town. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, it is actually a bit later. It is, <laughs> it is quarter to two. So I went to the depot, I dropped off all our parcels, we got home, we had lunch, and then I got stuck on the TikTok rabbit hole, but we've come out of it alive. <laughs> um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some more photos of my thrifted range. I want to do a bit of a thrifted drop soon, and if you can see up on this top shelf here, I have a lot of thrifted goodies, um, but I just need to photograph them and put them online. So I think I will do that now. I don't think it's going to rain. It could possibly rain. It's looking very cloudy, but the, I quite like taking my photos outside when it's overcast like this because the light is nice and soft and filtered and there's no harsh sunlight. I forgot what I was saying. Watch for my quality photograph setup. A roll of bubble wrap is my stand. And then I have this wooden shelf that I no longer use, which is the part of the backdrop. How cute are these little cactus candles? <laughs> I found three of them and they're so cute. Okay, so I'm done with taking photos and now I am going to do a reel for my Instagram. So I'm running an experiment on these propagations here. So I took them both at the same time, both from the same plant. Um, one I have just watered with straight water and this one I have watered with a Clonex clone solution um, just to see what the difference is so I'm going to film an updated reel on these because as you can see this is when I started the experiment the 26th 26th of April and it is now the 22nd of May so thought it was about time I did a bit of an update so yeah I'm going to film this reel and then I think that is going to be it for today that concludes this daily vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like vlogs. I do have some more informative content that I want to create as well. So make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss out on that. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Is it raining outside? No, it's my door. It's miserable outside.